Concentrating. Nearly got caught. Not good. Definitely not good. Septic? Grot. <laughs> Lovely damp evening. Yes, I uh, suppose it is. Hmm. <laughs> Heard about young Grot's exam results then? Uh, no. Oh, pleased as pigs we were. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your moulds didn't do so well. No? Be very disappointed. Yes, well, he, he, he may not be a genius. You come back here! Mold! Uh, I... Yeah, well, I'm going out! Mold! <laughs> um, I'd better be, um, going in. Always said that boy would come to a bad end. Hmm. his retakes. And that's it. Never be allowed to go up top and scare dry cleaners. What would his grandfather have said about that? Or his great-grandfather? Or his great-great-grandfather? Fungus. Can't have a son of ours forced to collect cow pats for a living. I'll have a word with them in the morning. <laughs> Strike while the biscuit's furry, that's what I say. <coughs> the gear wouldn't go mess either. Oh, don't need arguments at the moment. All giving thick ears. Just want a nice, quiet life. What's got into you today? <coughs> eh? <coughs> Nearly got caught up top. Oh! Come on, 
Darkling. Everyone has a bad day. Now and then. Yes, well, I seem to be having quite a few bad days at the moment. And maybe I'm taking too many risks. Now, you don't become a master boggler by scaring the same six people every night, like guns next door. Yes, well, if anyone finds out I've been seen by a dry cleaner, it'll be me collecting cow pats for the rest of my life. Now, don't start thinking like that. We have enough to worry about with that delinquent son of ours and his drop-in friends. Oh, he's only a teenager. Probably out there having a bit of harmless fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You came then? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> it's really loud, man. Oh, yeah. So you've uh, got the stuff then? Yeah, yeah. It's all in here. <laughs> Are you sure you're uh, up for this? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, really lit up, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, roll. Roll. <laughs> uh, so, um, Stent, hmm? where is it that we're going exactly? Oh, well, I'll tell you that when we get there. Oh, right, sure. OK. Scab. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> As soon as Scepter got the news, she was round here like a shot. Crop this, crop that. What a pity about mould. <sighs> You'd think after all this time, my sister would stop showing off, wouldn't you? Wanting to be fatter and uglier, wanting the wettest sofa and the dirtiest kitchen. But we have to do something about that boy. Yes, I know. <sighs> Where is he? Honestly, look at the time. Perhaps we should think about getting some sleep. Eh? Yeah. Come on, darling. Yeah, but I'm worried. Oh, I'm sure he's going to be all right, even with his dropping friends. You say that, Bungus, but you should really be more firm with him. And they're gonna eat you. No, just you're scaring Jessica, me. Jessica, just calm down. Right, it's bedtime, both of you. Oh. But I don't go to bed for another hour. Well, I'll start acting like a thirteen-year-old. You never thirteen-year-old's bedtime. Oh, come on! Pop it, George. Let's get that washing up sorted. Thirty thousand spuds in a road. It's not exactly the first manned flight to Mars, is it? Oh, that was a very well written article. Oh, well, yeah, of course. While I'm standing in the drizzle on a dual carriageway for two hours, Tony's sipping champagne, eating smoked salmon, and nibbling right. with the man. That should stop them. How am I ever going to get employed on a real newspaper if all I ever write about is prize-winning cucumbers at the village fair and Mrs. Mrs. Bogdana having a lawnmower stolen. It doesn't look great on a CV, does it? Well, at least you don't work on a supermarket checkout. Oh, there's days when I dream of working on a supermarket checkout. Oh, George. Come on, if you've got a job on a real newspaper, in the middle of a city, gosh, we'd be surrounded by smog and fumes and filth. And we'd dream about coming back to this place. Yes, I suppose you're right. Come on. Hmm. Morning, Dad. Morning, Mucus. Have you got to tell Mold off? Ah, well, uh, actually, I'm a bit what late for... What did you manage to roll in last night, then? 
Your father's not pleased. Hmm? I can tell you that for nothing. <gasps> it's all bad if you're doing well at school. But look at you. Hardly a speck anywhere. Yeah, well, maybe I don't like being dirty all the time. You've been using deodorant, haven't you? No. Don't you lie to me, young bogey. Don't get up. What? You talk to him. Go. Talk to him. to stop this. Stop what? Staying up all night, listening to loud music, washing. You have to be a good bogey, nice and dirty. But it's... And bo quiet. But it's boring. <laughs> Boring's good. And you have to do better at school, too. You, you, you want to go up top, don't you? You want to grow up to be a proper bogeyman like me? Like you? Yes, well, uh, we'll talk about this later, eh? I've got to go to work now. Try and be nice to your mother, eh? Told him then? <laughs> yes, <laughs> probably just a phase. I sincerely hope so. Boy, my love. Stay moist. I will. Your sister's just winding you up. Bogeymen don't exist. But... Uh, uh, trust me on this. I'm a journalist. If there was something out there, I'd know about it long before you did, OK? Even if it was an invisible monster and it was hiding? Even if it was an invisible monster and it was hiding. Yeah? Come on. Sweet dreams, Captain. It's a bit of uh, good old-fashioned four-handed bogling, then. Mm. Uh, maybe some other time, eh? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Shoot yourself. <clears throat> good scaring. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't let the drive clear the spine. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> Homework about dry cleaners. They'll come and get you one day. You know that, don't you? 
Mom will grow up. They'll come down when you sleep. Capture you and take you away. Put you in a big bath full of soap and bubbles. I'm not listening to you. And make you sit on a clean sofa with lots of bright lights and music on. And make you watch loud films where everyone has white teeth. Every night for 40 years, get old, do the card and retire, die. Yeah, well, only Swats do well at school. And anyway, I don't like people telling me what to do. Not Mum, not Dad, not the teachers, and especially not you. Boom. Oh, nice, then. <laughs> How's the hanging, bogey boy? Uh, really shiny, man. <laughs> hey, hey, nice work last night. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on their faces. No. I mean, yeah, right. Sorry. Sorry. Keep washing. Keep washing. <laughs> None of your business. Oh well, I guess I'll find out soon enough. Seeing as you're always getting caught. Hello, stupid. No, I don't say anything. Yeah, well, being stupid is better than being a mummy's boy. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm not stupid. You just said you're stupid. No, I didn't. You're going to come to a bad end, you are. I'm not. Maybe when you're older, you can get an award for advancing the noble art of washing your armpit. Maybe I can get an award for this. <laughs> <laughs> you can scare a little dry cleaner lady. She was in the middle of the forest on a foggy night all by herself. This stupid book. <laughs> You really are stupid, aren't you? But it would be a mistake to think that dry cleaners are just stupid creatures who spend their time running around shouting and listening to loud music and buying new clothes and pouring poisonous chemicals into their toilets. The dry cleaner is the most dangerous and violent animal a bogey will ever come across. They are always waging war on one another or reading about these wars in their newspapers. They are always watching films about people being killed or reading books about people being killed. Why, Tina children, even play games in which they pretend to kill one another. Why, Tina will think nothing of crushing a spider. And that is why they must never, ever find out about our existence. That is why they must never ever catch a bogey or find a bogey hole. What is going on back there? Nothing smelled again. Oh, oh I might have guessed. Me. Somebody vandalized it in the night. You still smell the soap. Oh, I better go and tell the teacher. How did they get up there? I heard it was you and your mate Stench. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't believe it. I don't think you're brave enough to do a thing like that. Um, stay out of this. I don't think you'd dare do that kind of thing. Yes, I would. 
Oh, ma. No trousers. That's you. Oi. That's my mate Mould you're talking about there. He, he wouldn't know where to get a sponge. You're way out of line there, boggy boy. What's this then? <laughs> I'm this. <laughs> Here we go again. I'm out of there. Headmaster's office. But it wasn't even me. No. in there. Jessica? <sighs> Jessica? Oh! Oh, those mice! What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Very good at this anymore. Not who 
very good at all. to talk to your headmaster? You think I enjoy being told I can't control my own son? <sighs> that man is waiting for an excuse to expel you. One more foot, out of line, and you'll never be allowed to go up top. <sighs> you think it's boring down here. You keep going the way you are, you'll be stuck down here for the whole of your life. <sighs> Jess, love, honestly, where did you go? I mean, on a night like this, in your pyjamas, and... You've got mud on, she's got mud on her slippers, George. Honestly, how far did you get? There was this thing in the cupboard. A creature. A man. Really ugly, covered in slime. Oh, was it a bogey man? What? No, of course it wasn't a bogey man. Hey? He, he had this huge, dirty bag and... and I opened the cupboard and it, he just... I don't want to be eaten by a bogey man. Look, there is no bogeyman, OK? Now, will you please stop this? Enough is enough. It isn't funny. And say sorry to Tom. I'm telling the truth. I'll have words with you later. Now, let's get you to bed, little soldier, OK? It's only a silly sister trying to wind you up. Sorry, it's just the dishwasher. been going on here then? Suspended from school. Vandalised the bush to the school's founder. Headmaster's given him a final warning, but it just goes in one ear and out the other. Why don't you try and knock some sense into that thick green head of his? <sighs> oh, listen to your mother. I'm going to my room. <sighs> well, maybe this will make you take some interest in your son's upbringing. Found these under his mattress this morning. <gasps> oh, this is my fault. Be ridiculous. Well, I'm hardly setting a good example, am I? It's not surprising he doesn't want to grow up to be like me. What's got into you this week? Maybe I should just pack it all in and have done with it. Don't talk nonsense. I got seen again. Trapped in a cupboard. Just escaped by the scum of my teeth. Oh, darkling. I just... I just don't know why I'm doing it anymore. Beast of Rutland. George, you're in. Yes, I work here. Uh, what are you up to? Uh, nothing. <laughs> the Beast of Rutland. Yes, the most exciting story in the history of the Herald. No wonder people start imagining things around here. Yeah. yeah. Ten to one, there's a dodgy photo of Mrs. Marsham's wolfhound. Yes, you're probably right. <laughs> All this girl's school got a jump shot. Now, that is a lovely tie. 
The march plotted for me. I've always said she's a woman of taste. Oh, well, that's a matter for debate, but uh, I need somebody to interview 25 lovely ladies who are taking part in the finals of the Miss Rutland competition this weekend. Think you can handle it? Well, that's a tough job, but... Uh... And George, there's been an overspill at Catbury Sewerage Farm. I want pictures of flooded kitchens before they bring in the suction cups. Thank you. Jessica, could I just have a word? You've been talking to my mum, haven't you? No, no, I just bumped into her outside quick save at lunchtime and she asked, well, whether everything was all right at school. Great, thanks, Mum. She, uh, she said you were telling everyone some story about finding a strange teacher in the kitchen cupboard in the middle of the night. It wasn't a story, it happened. I'm sure it did. No, you're not. Well, it did seem a little unlikely. You all think I'm lying, don't you? You all think I'm mad. Jessica, I'll show you. Hurry up, girls. something about mold. I have to think of some way that's going to make him realize just what it's like to be a... Mold. Mold. Come on. What? Time to get up. But I don't have to go to school today. So we're going on a trip instead. Up. Oh, come on. Shh, shh, shh. So we have to get an early start. We've got a long ride ahead of us. But I'm not allowed to go up top. Shh. Come on. <sighs> yes, but I thought you weren't talking to Katie since she'd lost your suede boots at that dreadful party. I wasn't. But I'd rather spend the night with someone who lost my suede boots than with someone who told my form tutor that I was actually insane. Jessica, I didn't tell Mrs. Henderson you're insane. I just asked if everything was all right at school, that's all. And said that I've been making up stories about strange animals in the cupboard. Thanks a bundle, Mark. Yeah. Sorry. Look, Jess, why don't we sit down and have a proper adult chat about this, eh? Sure. How about Wednesday? I think I'm free. That is, of course, if the men in white coats can come and drag me away by then. <sighs> Jess. I'll see you later. No, I haven't told you, Mother. Probably just leave her a note. Get expelled and you'll, you'll bring disgrace on the whole family. I'm tired of all this earache from your mother, too. There, that's packed lunch ready. Now, you've got a nice thick coat and a good damp scarf to keep the moisture in. What are you two up to? I'm taking Mould up top. What? Go to see if he really thinks it's fun. Bright lights and then flushing lavatories. Ooh. At least he'll then know what he's talking about. He's too young to go up top. It's not safe. It's not legal. We've tried talking. We have to try something else. Look, Please. you want him to grow up to be a proper bogey? Well, I'll show him what it means to be a proper bogey. He could get moonstruck. He could dry out. I won't take any risks. I'll keep him close by me, just show him the sights, and then we'll come back down again. If anything happens to this boy... Nothing is going to happen. If you're not back in eight hours... We'd better get going. Be careful. Hold by, Mum. Boy, my love. Do everything your father tells you. I will. Mold. 
<sighs> What's happening? Your father's had a bright idea. Oh, no. Hi, Jessica. Where are you going? Camping with Katie. What, at this time of year? Yes. Oh. Um, the, 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 about that thing you saw in the... In the, the thing I saw? I thought it was a figment of my imagination. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica. We Dad, remember. I've got to go. Right. Bye. Hi, it's me. Jess. Hi, I'm really sorry about the boots, and I know I shouldn't it have. It doesn't matter about the boots. Really? But you owe me, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Good. Well, if Mum and Dad call, I'm staying at your place, right? Right. It's complicated. This is just the inside of the barn. <laughs> Come on. Sick. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Dad, hmm? I really don't think this is a very good idea. Come on. Think... We've got some boggling to do. like I told you. Go on. Right. OK. OK? Harder. Oh. What was that? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Poor mold, eh? Still. He didn't like going to school, did he? So what's he up to then? Staying at home and doing his eh? <laughs> I really wish I could tell you. Mm, really? Dad, mm -hmm. if I promise to work really hard at school and promise not to do anything stupid that Stens tells me to do, can we just... Oh, Dad, can we please just go back down the bogey hole? Quick, hide. Oh, God. Stay there. Don't move. This could be dangerous. <laughs> Dad! What? Can I do one? Um, all right. <sighs> oh. 
Colin, we're stealing the duvet again. That's an aeroplane, isn't it, Dad? Mm-hmm. There you go, son. I think it's great. You know, up top. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I've had some nasty scrapes up here. Oh, I mean, everyone says how scary it is and how dangerous it is. But once you've been up here and once you've seen it for yourself, I really think it's a lot of fun. Uh, yes. Well, maybe fun isn't quite the right word. Can ask for dry cleaners. Do you think they're going to be some kind of wild beast and try tearing them yeah. from limb? After you've seen a Mold. few, really, just... What? Nothing. It's been really good having you up here. It's been really good just doing things together again for a change. Yeah. Yeah. Better finish up and get some more bogling done. Come on. Fingered dawn come up over that snot dark field. <laughs> we better get back down before we get any sun on us. Oh, look. What? A dry cleaner's been here. Mm. Not very long ago either. Oh, still warm. Ooh. One last piece of bogling before we leave. Slug? Mm. find somewhere dark and damp. Like a soap? Mm -hmm. Or a swamp or a, a, a big compost heap. Make sure you don't you don't get burned up in the sunlight and dry out. And then you've got to <laughs> keep your fingers crossed and wait till night comes. You know what, Jack? What? <laughs> 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 